everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Sunday, which means another TDM Vlogs. Now, last time I did ask you what you wanted me to do for these vlog things, because I did want to do kind of like a subject for each vlog rather than just going through some talking about the channel and stuff like that, and I, I can't find the tweet anymore, but someone tweeted or commented me saying that I should show off my Minecraft merch that I have bought and accumulated over the past year or so. So, most of it was actually acquired at Minecon, so I've got I've got something to show you. Oh, it's, it's so heavy. It's this. Look at it. It's a big Minecraft chest. So this is the first thing. I think it's like an official merchandise as well. So this is the chest. It does open up and it's got all the Minecraft merchandise in it. It looks pretty damn cool, so I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, but here we go. Let's try it. Let's, let's open this up. Ready? 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 Oh god, I, why can't I get it open? That's better. Ready? No, wait. Wait, come on, chest. Come on. Come. No, why? Why are you doing that sound? Ready? Yeah, that's better. That's better. So we've got the lid. It comes off. It's pretty damn cool. Got it from Minecon. It was a pain in the butt to get because you couldn't like buy them. You had to buy them uh, with other stuff. So we managed to do that. So we've got lots more stuff in here than we planned to buy beforehand. But anyway, it's all pretty damn cool. So let's rummage in here and see what we've got. The first one is this, which I'm sure most of you are actually really familiar with. This is the torch that normally sits right here, right here, right here. So um, lots of you think it looks like the microphone. It's pretty cool actually. It's not a microphone, it's a torch. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're about to see it, but there we go. You can see it a little bit. It lights up at the push of a button, which is pretty cool. Powered by batteries and it's got this really cool wall hanging thing on. Very, very nice. You can like hang it on the wall, have a nice Minecraft cave. In, in your bedroom or whatever. So that's the Minecraft torch, very, very cool. I think I got that from America. I think all of these, all of these are from America actually. So there you go, that's interesting. And the next one I'm gonna pull out was from my first trip to America and it's this bad boy. Watch out, no, <laughs> it's a creeper. It's a creeper, it's an acrylic creeper. So it's like kind of plasticky, it's pretty cool. It's not um, a plush at all, it's head moves, which is really nice. And it also came with this, which is a nice little diamond block. Check that out, that's really cool too. So they're kind of like, sit next to each other, sit on top of each other, sit under each other, who knows? But it's a creeper and I really like this as well. I really like the style of the acrylics and stuff like that and I actually really like it. It's really cute, really, really durable and yeah, that, that's why I bought it. There's actually a Steve one of this as well, which I haven't got. I need to get one of those. It's got kind of like diamond armor and a diamond sword and stuff. I really like that one too, so I need to get that to complete the set and, and make it slay this creeper, I guess, and get the diamond block for himself. So where, where can I even put this stuff? Oh god, right. Next. Next is a really interesting one. It's this. It's a, it's another it's another diamond door. So we've got diamond doors absolutely everywhere in this house. Um, we haven't mined them yet to get the diamonds, which should be something we should probably do. But anyway, this is the next thing. This is a really cool thing that we got on Minecon as well. It's actually, if I just turn it on here, it lights up. I don't know if you saw that, but it lights up when it when you hit it on the bottom. It's got two light levels, so that's light up again. I don't know if you can see it, and then you turn it off. There we go. It's pretty damn cool. I really like it. It's, it gives like a soft glowing light. And I think this is part of the new merchandise that Minecraft's slowly bringing out. They're bringing out lots of different stuff recently. And there we go. A nice diamond block light up block thing. Right then, let's delve into here and find the next thing. The next thing is, is, is my phone. Why my phone? Oh, it's because of this. Check this out. This is my iPhone 4. I only have an iPhone 4S, but um, I really like it, so I didn't want to change. And um, there we go. A nice, really, really nice quality iPhone 4S cover. It's really cool. If you're a fan of Minecraft, definitely get one of these. The quality of this is really nice. It's kind of smooth rather than plasticky. So it's like a really nice matte effect. Oh my god, I've dented it a little bit. That's a bit upsetting. But anyway, this is cool. It's a nice little grass block, dirt block, whatever you want to call it. And, and yeah, I think it's really cool, so I had to get it. That was another purchase from Minecon. Actually, all of these, apart from the torch, and the creeper here are all from Minecon. So yeah, take lots of money to Minecon because you're guaranteed to spend loads of money. Right, the next thing isn't really something we bought but were given to us is these really cool Ender toys. Now these were made by, um, I think Zeus Toys or something. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. They're really cool. We got these made for us, very, very nice indeed. Look at them, it's like you can get your skin made as one of these little kind of action figure things. The legs don't move but the arms kind of go like this. Check it out, check it out. Check it out. The head also moves all the way around, just like that, just like an owl. And then we've got one of me. I want a gemma, and you can get one made of any skin whatsoever. Whatsoever. It's really, really cool. Get one made of your skin. They're fun, and they're they're pretty damn good as well. Nice quality, nice and hard, and yeah, beautiful little things. 
And the final things I've got in here are all plushies. So um, Minecraft did have some plushies, or Mojang, sorry, did release some plushies. I can't remember what the first load were, but they've released some new ones, which is really cool. Um, and here we go. We're going to start with this this little guy, the baby pig. It's so cute. So this is actually series one, and it's got a little Minecon 2013 sticker. I don't know if you can see that right there, which is pretty cool. So it shows you get it from Minecon. So that's why we kept the tags on. And it's really cute, it's a little baby pig, it's so damn cute, look at it, ah. Oh. Ah, oh, they're really soft, really good um, condition, and um, that's not the word I was looking for. The word I was looking for was really well made. Made. So yeah, these are really cute, and we've also got another baby little addition, which is the baby mushroom. I really like this one, it's really cute. It hasn't got any mushrooms on it because uh, baby mushrooms don't have mushrooms. Uh, it's got the Minecon 2013 sticker on it as well, and this one is really cute. I like his little horn ears. Are these horns or ears? Have you grown horns yet? I have no idea, but it's got really cool like flopping legs, and these two together look really, really cute. Look at that, That's, they're so soft as well. Ah, oh. and last but not least is the Enderman. Look at this guy. He's so he's so cute. Look at him. He's an Enderman. Little purple eyes there. He's got little kind of blocks sewn into him there. I don't know if you can see. He's got like the soft parts and he's got the little squares as like the little pixels. Again, Minecon 2013 sticker. And I think you can pick these up now. Very, very cool. And I think they're releasing some new ones. You can actually get like a creeper that's huge as well. So definitely look out for that one. And this is actually our second Enderman. For, for some reason, he just kind of... Um... This... This... Disappeared. That's a bit weird. So yeah, those are pretty much all the Minecraft things that we own so far. We've got the pig, the mushroom, we've got the light up diamond block, we've got the normal diamond block, we've got the creeper, and we've also got um, these, which aren't really official Minecraft products. All the rest are official Mojang products, so you need to go to, I guess, Jinx or something like that to go and get them, I'm not sure. And then we've got these, which are from the other thing that I'll put in the description below. So that's really cool. And Last but not least, oh, the, the torch, I forgot about the torch, but that just stays there in the background of pretty much every video I do. And, and, wait for it, wait for it, if we can get this back on, the Minecraft chest, which is one of my favourite things down in the house. It's really cool, just holds all of your stuff. At the minute it holds loads of Minecraft stuff, so it's really, really cool, I love it, it's really nice. Right, so moving on, and I know what you're thinking, yes, it's a Sunday, it's a TDM vlog, and at the beginning he always does a TDM art, so he's forgotten it. No, no I haven't, I've just decided to put it in a different place today, and today's TDM art comes from Louis Dixon 4 on Twitter, so if you ever want to send me some fan arts through the digital variety, you can either send it me via DeviantArt, Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram as well, I've been getting a few, few Instagrams since I mentioned it, and um, DeviantArt as well, some really amazing artworks have been sent in to me recently, and it's so hard to pick them, they either get featured at the beginning of a Diamond Diamond episode which is Wednesday and Sunday or a Sunday vlog as well so today is Louis Dixon and here it is it's beautiful it's a little Minecraft world there's some circles in there I don't know what that's about some little uh, Minecraft hills but there's me holding a diamond so majestically there's Grim and there's Treyarch going Hur. and then there's also the lab in the background which I really really enjoy because it's got all the little features it's got the iron door at the back it's got the testing facility it's got the little cave bit where we usually put portals and other stuff to um, showcase all the lights in the top of the corridor leading up to the lab, all really cool stuff that's really unique to the lab and I really enjoyed it. It shows he's put loads of effort into it and thanks a lot for that, Louis Dixon. Now, to end off this vlog, I know it's, it might be getting a little bit long now, but I wanted to do a little bit of a Q&A session, so here we go. Let's begin with the first question, which is from Amid Fala, which is at Amid F on Twitter, and he asks, do you play Minecraft Pocket Edition or Xbox 360 Edition? Now, um, Xbox 360 Edition I've had since the beginning, since it came out. It's, it's a really fun way to play Minecraft because it's pretty much just lag-free and hassle-free because you don't need to set up servers, play with friends, you can just buy it, play it, and it doesn't matter what kind of computer you have because it runs on Xbox. It's really cool. Um, it's actually been updated recently to include the end and lots of other stuff like that, and the new update it's going to be really cool and it's also coming to like PS4, PS Vita and stuff like that too which is going to be really interesting. Um, I don't, I haven't played Pocket Edition that much. I played the demo and it's really hard to get to grips with. I think it's easier to play on the iPad because it's the biggest screen but I was thinking of maybe making a couple of little videos on Pocket Edition and Xbox 360 Edition as well but because they're vanilla survival I haven't been too sure. Maybe there'll be like little fun charges, I'm not sure, to show the differences between PC and those two versions but let me know what you think in the comments below whether I should do that or not and you might see some videos on it in the future.
Right then, the next question is from at Truck Sim Driver, and it asks, do you have, or are you going to get any puppies or other pets? And I chose this question because yesterday we went to see a load of puppies. So we are actually going to buy a dog. We've actually bought a dog already. The, it's not with us at the moment because it doesn't leave its mum until about middle of December. So that's when we'll get it, and I'm, I'll be sure to introduce you to her in a vlog. It's, it's actually a pug puppy. Loads of you that are probably like veterans of the channel will know that we absolutely love pugs and we are getting one so I'll be able to introduce you to her very very soon hopefully it'll be around like the 16th of December weekend kind of around then and hopefully we'll be able to show you her which will be really really cool. Right then next question and Basilau asks if you could do any other job apart from YouTube what would it be? Now before um, I even started YouTube I would have loved to have been a music producer that's what I did my degree in most of you might know that by now because I've kind of had questions about university before but um, yeah I would do something in music production I really love um, re writing music, recording music, um, playing music, listening to music, loads of stuff so that's what I would like to be something to do with music anyway but if I had to choose and I could choose where I'd want to go it'll be a music producer. Next question, and dry underscore bones 49 asks, is it hard being a YouTuber? I'm gonna go out and say no, but um, that's because I just really enjoy the whole process of making videos, coming up with ideas, Possibly the hardest part which I sometimes get a little bit stressed about is finding ideas. Sometimes I'm just like, oh my god, I have no idea what I'm going to do for a video today. Because I really like to um, put lots of thought into it and plan out a whole video. And when I haven't got anything and it's getting close to the deadline, I'm like, oh my god, I'm panicking. I'm panicking. So yeah, um, it's sometimes hard, but I wouldn't say hard, more like stressful when I'm just out of ideas. But other than the time, it's just so much fun. I just love doing it and yeah. I would say, I would say no, it's not too hard, especially if you love it as much as I do, I guess. And the last question comes from Hannah21lol5, and this is a bit of a random one, but I thought I'd answer it anyway. Did you have braces when you were a kid, and if you did, did they hurt? So I'm guessing that you're maybe thinking about, or having to get braces, maybe, or some of you out there are maybe having to get braces, and I haven't had braces. I was going to, but, um, because I have, like, really, really crooked bottom teeth, um, which needed sorting out, but, um, because they're only cosmetic, they wouldn't do it. They wouldn't, um, just give me braces, because you can't really see it from normal unless, like, I show you it. So it wasn't going to be too much of an issue to actually have braces, but I've heard they're not too bad. The only time that it does hurt, I've heard, is when you get them tightened so that they're actually pulling the teeth. But um, it's, it's more of an ache rather than a pain, I've been told. So don't worry too much. If you just be brave and hang in there when you get them tightened, they should be okay. I had a stepbrother who had braces and he said it wasn't too bad apart from when they were tightening him. So hang in there if you're getting braces and I, I hope it doesn't hurt too much. So yeah, that's going to be pretty much it for today's Sunday vlog. I hope that you enjoyed it, and if you did, let's see if we can get to... You actually got a load of likes last time. You got about 7,000. I only asked for 2,000, I think. So let's see if we can get to 5,000 likes today. That would be absolutely amazing. I hope that you enjoyed this kind of new format. And if you did, then yeah, leave a like. And if this happens to be the first video that you've seen by me, then please do subscribe for daily Minecraft video content. So yeah, thanks a lot for watching, guys, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye! Hey everyone, Dan here from the Diamond Minecart and welcome to another Sunday, which means another TDM Vlogs. Now, last time I did ask you what you wanted me to do for these vlog things, because I did want to do kind of like a subject for each vlog rather than just going through some talking about the channel and stuff like that, and I, I can't find the tweet anymore, but someone tweeted or commented me saying that I should show off my Minecraft merch that I have bought and accumulated over the past year or so. So, most of it was actually acquired at Minecon, so I've got I've got something to show you. Oh, it's, it's so heavy. It's this. Look at it. It's a big Minecraft chest. So this is the first thing. I think it's like an official merchandise as well. So this is the chest. It does open up and it's got all the Minecraft merchandise in it. It looks pretty damn cool, so I don't really know how I'm gonna do this, but here we go. Let's try it. Let's let's open this up. Ready? 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 Oh god, I, why can't I get it open? That's better. Ready? No, wait, wait. Come on, chest. Come on. Come. No, why? Why are you doing that sound? Ready? Yeah, that's better. That's better. So we've got the lid. It comes off. It's pretty damn cool. Got it from Minecon. It was a pain in the butt to get because you couldn't like buy them. You had to buy them uh, with other stuff. So we managed to do that. So we've got lots more stuff in here than we planned to buy beforehand. But anyway, it's all pretty damn cool. So let's rummage in here and see what we've got. The first one is this, which I'm sure most of you are actually really familiar with. This is the torch that normally sits right here. 
right here, right here. So um, lots of you think it looks like the microphone. It's pretty cool actually. It's not a microphone. It's a torch. Are you ready for this? I don't know if you're about to see it, but there we go. You can see it a little bit. It lights up at the push of a button, which is pretty cool. Powered by batteries, and it's got this really cool wall hanging thing on. Very, very nice. You can like hang it on the wall, have a nice Minecraft cave in in your bedroom or whatever. So that's a Minecraft torch. Very, very cool. I think I got that from America. I think all of these, all of these are from America actually. So there you go. That's interesting. And the next one I'm going to pull out was from my first trip to America, and it's this bad boy. Watch out! No, I'm <laughs> it's a creeper. It's a creeper. It's an acrylic creeper, so it's like kind of plasticky. It's pretty cool. It's not um, a plush at all. Its head moves, which is really nice. And it also came with this, which is a nice little diamond block. Check that out. That's really cool too. So they're kind of like sit next to each other, sit on top of each other, sit under each other, who knows? But it's a creeper and I really like this as well. I really like the style of the acrylics and stuff like that and I, I actually really like it. It's really cute, really really durable and yeah, that, that's why I bought it. There's actually a Steve one of this as well, which I haven't got. I need to get one of those. It's got kind of like diamond armor and a diamond sword and stuff. I really like that one too, so I need to get that to complete the set and, and make it slay this creeper, I guess, and get the diamond block for himself. So where, where can I even put this stuff? Oh god, right, next. Next is a really interesting one, it's this. It's a, it's another, it's another diamond door. So we've got diamond doors absolutely everywhere in this house. Um, we haven't mined them yet to get the diamonds, which should be something we should probably do. But anyway, this is the next thing. This is a really cool thing that we got on Minecon as well. It's actually, if I just turn it on here, it lights up. I don't know if you saw that, but it lights up when it when you hit it on the bottom. It's got two light levels, so that's a light up again. I don't know if you can see it, and then you turn it off. There we go. It's pretty damn cool. I really like it. It's, it gives like a soft glowing light. And I think this is part of the new merchandise that Minecraft's slowly bringing out. They're bringing out lots of different stuff recently. And there we go. A nice diamond block light up block thing. Right then, let's delve into here and find the next thing. The next thing is... Is, is my phone. Why my phone? Oh, it's because of this. Check this out. This is my iPhone 4. I only have an iPhone 4S, but um, I really like it, so I didn't want to change. And um, there we go. A nice, really, really nice quality iPhone 4S cover. It's really cool. If you're a fan of Minecraft, definitely get one of these. The quality of this is really nice. It's kind of smooth rather than plasticky. So it's like a really nice matte effect. Oh my god, I've dented it a little bit. That's a bit upsetting. But anyway, this is cool. It's a nice little grass block, dirt block, whatever you want to call it. And, and yeah, I think it's really cool, so I had to get it. That was another purchase from Minecon. Actually, all of these, apart from the torch and the creeper here, are all from Minecon. So, yeah, take lots of money to Minecon, because you're guaranteed to spend loads of money. Right, the next thing isn't really something we bought, but were given to us. It's these really cool Ender toys. Now, these were made by, um, I think, Zeus Toys on the thing. I'll leave a link to them in the description below. They're really cool. We got these made for us. Very, very nice indeed. Look at them. It's like you can get your skin made as one of these little kind of action figure things. The legs don't move, but the arms kind of go like this. Check it out. Check it out. Check it out. The head also moves all the way around, just like that, just like an owl. And then we've got one of me. I want a gemma, and you can get one made of any skin whatsoever. Whatsoever. It's really, really cool. Get one made of your skin. They're fun. And they're they're pretty damn good as well. Nice quality, nice and hard, and yeah. Beautiful little things. And the final things I've got in here are all plushies. So um Minecraft did have some plushies, or Mojang, sorry, did release some plushies. I can't remember what the first load were. But they've released some new ones, which is really cool. Um, and here we go. We're going to start with this this little guy. The baby pig. It's so cute. So this is actually series one. And it's got a little Minecon 2013 sticker. I don't know if you can see that right there. Which is pretty cool. So it shows you get it from Minecon. So that's why we've kept the tags on. And it's really cute. It's a little baby pig. It's so damn cute. Look at it. Ah. Oh. Oh, they're really soft, really good um, condition, and um, that's not the word I was looking for. The word I was looking for was really well made. Made. So yeah, these are really cute, and we've also got another baby little addition, which is the baby mushroom. I really like this one, it's really cute. It hasn't got any mushrooms on it because uh, baby mushrooms don't have mushrooms. Uh, it's got the Minecon 2013 sticker on it as well, and this one is really cute. I like his little horn ears. Are these horns or ears? Have you grown horns yet? I have no idea, but it's got really cool like flopping legs, and these two together 